All right. This game is called One Shot. Very overwhelmingly positive on Steam. Dedicated to our beloved friend, Felix. It must be a cat's name. We miss you. Controls. So we use ZX for select cancel. Arrow is walk. Uh, shift is walk faster. A is menu. That's weird. <laughs> Inventory is S. Configure controls F1. Um, full screen F8. Okay. Gameplay. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. So it's like, you know, Japanese RPG Maker style. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Oh, what? Closing the game will save your progress. This game also autosaves after some key events. Wait, so... I'm supposed to play this on... Win windowed? Hello? Oh. We're moving. Password. Um, um, TV remote here. My name is Nico. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. Can I go back to sleep? <laughs> Door is locked. What? Television remote. Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. <gasps> All the number except 0, 5, 2, and 3 are missing. Red, blue, yellow, green. Zero, five, two, three. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Red, blue. Oh, ho. Oh, very, very wide angle lens. You found me. <clears throat> Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This world was never worth saving. It's basically like, you know, the real world right now. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. Oh, is is it talking to me? Not in not to the game character. Is this breaking the fourth wall? And most importantly, oh, it kicked me out of the game and says you only have one shot, son. Oh my God. Oh my god. Okay. Full screen again. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Okay, so this computer talked to me. Hello, anyone? What about this door? Oh. Withered plant sits here stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. What have I got? Dry branch. 
A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. There's no water in the toilet. Tub won't run. Is this gonna be scary? TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Oh! Maybe I can do something with my branch. Ah, let's go to the kitchen. Where's the fire? Bottle of alcohol and drink it. <laughs> it's good, not here. Maybe, what's this room? Oh. Dangerous spark. Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. Wet branch, oh my god. Dangerous looking spark. Nico, Nico readies the branch. <laughs> ah, okay, fire branch. There we go. What's this? The flames are dim but comforting. This something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. A basement key. How do I... Hey, this is a key, come on. No? This key looks like it goes here. Or maybe this way? Ah. We're going down. Maybe there's like something like on the wall? You know? No? What if it's like Nico found a secret button? Nico clicks it. What is it? A light bulb. Very big light bulb. It's huge. Whoa. Can I go further in? No, it's a dead end. <laughs> Nico looks cute. And the muffler is swinging around is pretty cute too. So what do I do with this light? Mm, plug it in here. Light bulb. Oh, it is! <gasps> this game kind of gives off like Undertale vibe. Like the, like, oh. You know, Undertale also broke the fourth wall. The game talks to you. You know, like, all that stuff. This also does that too. What's left is a terminal, com computer terminal. Ooh. I like this. Fast travel. You can quickly travel to the locations you have already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Okay. So A. Travel. Aha. Uh -huh. So where am I? I'm at space. What's left of a robot? A robot? This looks like a train track. Oh. 
Ah, that light bulb, you are here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence, yes. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. All right, allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. I w it was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in the unfamiliar dark location. Mm hmm Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. <laughs> huh? I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. Can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh. Can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Our new sun? Your sun? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Hmm. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah. But now that you are here with a new sun, all is well. Isn't it kind of small, the sun? You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begin your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. I mean, it's just a light bulb. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Oh, this is about to break the fourth wall. So Nico is not aware that she's being controlled. The message was for me, because like the full screen collapsed to a windowed screen. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Sun. Oh, so the text box said, you have only one shot, Sun. It doesn't, it, it, it's not talking about me, Sun, it's talking about the Sun. Like, the player's name is the Sun, not, not like my name, Sun. <laughs> sun? Ah, that would be our god. If you are here, that means Sun is here also. Sun will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone though. Have you not contacted Sun yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our Sun, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with the Sun. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. Alright. Hello? Son? Are you there? Oh! <gasps> yes! Oh! N nice to meet you, son. My name is Nico. Oh, that's cool. 
I actually hurt someone. They say that their name is Sun. This is incredible. I mean, I'm technically kind of... My name is kind of Sun, so I'll just go with Sun. Do not be afraid to ask Sun for assistance. You are the messiah after, after all. Can you tell me about going home? Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I am not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few <laughs> hours ago. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am able to help you beyond my programming. So it's a robot. I am sorry. Oh. Is that, is that it? I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. <gasps> okay. Alright. Can I... Can I go inside this house? This looks like something. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Pry it open. One, a robot may not injure a living person or through inaction, allow a person to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey their, the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. This is Isaac Asimov's uh, famous Robots Three Laws. It's been it's been like used so much. So, this is a map. There's a tower. It says re Refuge, Glen, Barrens. We're at the Barrens. So we have to go inside Glen and Refuge, and then finally reach the tower. Robot. It seems to be okay, it just doesn't have power. Okay. Ooh. A lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Some sort of a small machine, I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Static electricity machine? That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. <gasps> the shrimps! Alright, well... First thing, find something to pry open the box. Let's go. Wait. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox. Especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for the for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Oh, so this is like the deep down story, you know. Someone's planning like a bad thing. Faded poster. Remind, reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphorus found during the phosphorus shrimp spawn period. What? If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. So, shrimp's blue phosphor. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. I see some like blue water on the background of the window. Maybe those are the blue phosphor shrimp. I, there's nothing to pry open. Uh, right? 
There wasn't any tool. Self-charging solar battery model N87, one year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power is needed. Uh, if the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side blah, 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 has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. So that's the, what this is. Okay, I need something to pry open. But I couldn't find anything here. Let's go outside. Uh, I, ha I have an empty bottle. <gasps> oh wait, can I get the shrimp inside this empty bottle? Where is the shrimp? Probably not. Oops. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Alright, let's look for something to pry open. This looks like a place. Some robots. Ah, oh, I can run. Whee! These are like robot parts. Can I pry open it with a robot arm? Hmm, there's a pressing machine. Why would you want to smash a bottle here, son? The shards would get everywhere. <laughs> it's talking to me. How about a light bulb? No, I shouldn't. What's this place? What about the head? Just the head, yikes. Okay, to crush metals. We have to come back here to um, compress something. Right. All right. That's a that's one location handy. Oh. Hold on. Default movement run. Okay, that's that's better. As long as we don't need to like be quiet and like escape from a monster, I would just want to do this. Oh my god, what's all this? I need a map. Right? This is too hard to navigate. It said a ma there's a map in where? One of the towers? So this is the factory that presses metal. This is the robot. We can try to go back up. Up here. Do you see anything? Let's see. Okay, so from here... Oh. Oh. I can see a green glow in the distance. Green glow. So maybe these are like... Oh, there's some robot here. Maybe these are, these are like shrimp growing ponds. Um, hello? Son, are you there? Yes. 
Oh good, there's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. Okay. So power, maybe the battery pack from the factory. Ah. <laughs> okay, metal pipe. We got it. What's this? Oh, save point. Okay. I think I get this game now. Okay, the game just crashed. I'm back here again. We have a cutscene somehow. Maybe this is like sleeping. Dream. Nice art. Oh! So the cutscene bugged out. Son, are you still here? Yes. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I, I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? That, like, stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? Uh, no. Ah, uh, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Uh, yes. It's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That's a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kinda like how this world is now. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? Uh, my world is like that too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep usually. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Night owls. Um, anyways, we should probably get going. Okay. We had a little cute talk. Oh, we can go even higher. Son, there's something in the air. It's hard to breathe. Oh, we can't go. Nico is getting hurt by the, the dust. Okay. We got the pipe, we can't go up, we have to go down. Probably we have to compress the bar to make it like sharp enough. I don't think we can pry open um, the box right now. We'll see. But from my gaming experience, it must be the, the compressor first. We'll try. Okay. The pipe wouldn't fit under the crack, son. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Ah, oh, right, you see? Let's go flatten it. Uh, where was it? Uh huh. Ah. Do you want me to crush the pipe in here, son? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Crowbar. I became a crowbar. Good. And with this crowbar. Hey, get out.
This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Broken battery. Wait. What should I put in here? It looks like a light bulb, right? So, what do I have to combine it with? Uh, oh, lens. We need a we need a lens. Okay. Where where can I find the lens? Can I put this shrimp in? Oh! Oh, so the battery fits in here, but... Okay, we need something. Hmm... Okay... So we can't do anything here. Can I go down? This is the left side. Right? Yeah. So there was nothing to do here. Okay, we'll, we'll explore a little bit. Oh, maybe I can ask him? Huh? Uh, the barons. It's so empty here. That's why it's called the barons. There are any. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to. So you just stand here. Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends. I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. The prophecy. The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun and illuminate the world. What else did you uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Huh? Wait. You are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. Your what? Ah. Oh. My program is, is what guides me. I'm a robot, after all. I see. A tower. How tall is a tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Sun will know what to do. I see. Do I? <laughs> do I know? I don't know. Mm. Well, so far, I think I have to look for a lens that goes inside this thing. A lens. We can like go this way? No, this doesn't seem right. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's worker were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seems like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Where? I need it. So you, you want me to look for it? Oh. Metal safe. Ah. Okay. There's the gas mask. Okay, so get the gas mask, go to the poison zone, 
and get the lens. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. <gasps> so sad. Oh, it connects. I, I really would need like a diagonal movement. Oh. Hey. Hey, where, what's this place? Authorized personnel only. Visitors must see the head engineer for permission to enter the mines. Okay. Ah. Oh! The light bulb. <laughs> so you are the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller, or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of a cat? Nah, huh? I'm a person. You've got the eyes of a cat, but cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. Ah. <sighs> This is going to sound cold, but I on honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This matter of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm -hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh, don't, don't take my word for it though. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you get my message, okay? Kip. Please don't touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell, it keeps me functional. The main generator for Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. A shelf of weird tools and piece of metals. Something's poking out. Screwdriver! Okay. So the shrimp thing is like the new light source. It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see details. Chess? Not with even other robots. Nobody in the Barons have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. So tamed as in like specifically programmed. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? 
As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Hmm, oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Are these like leaf? Oh, robot, no power. Just like the rest. Well, why are there so many leaf here? There's leaf, just spread it on the ground. So that's that area. We got a screwdriver. And I'm still looking for six code. Digit. Wait, oh yeah, this is, I think this is where I came from. the gas um, I'm a bit lost <laughs> it's pretty hard to navigate in this in this game I just have to randomly pick some spots is this a new one oh okay there's like a date and says with the mining operations going smoothly Materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of metal alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Wait, so 291, 291 is, uh, is one of the numbers? Ah, uh, we're back here. I don't know either. Hold on. Let's go this way again. Mm. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Ah! No, I'm not here. Screwdriver. Where can I use a screwdriver? So this... Is there any number? I don't see any number here, but well, then what is this for? Oh, maybe this way? Oh, this is talking about the mask. Maybe we'll... We can like look for something for the screw- Oh, you know what? Actually... We can like... Use the item. Oh, wait! Screw- Screwdriver broken battery. No? <laughs> okay, then... Screwdriver... Uh, screwdriver. Okay, we'll, we'll have to see what... All right, we're back here with a screwdriver. What about this computer? Ah. What about here? Oh, the word profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. <gasps> Profit bot? Oh. 
Where do I use the screwdriver? Okay, um, we still need to find the six digit code. Wait, that was new? It said silver. This, uh, this power cell says silver on it. Oh, I got shocked. I told you not to touch it. Oh, not fun. So, this battery cell says sun. That's something new, you know, new information. Oh, wait, so she's silver. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Here we go. A little gadget on the ground. It looks like... It kinda looks... It looks kinda like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not, I don't know. A camera. <gasps> Use the screwdriver to pull out the lens out? Okay. Done. Lens. Okay, and then the broken battery combined. Oh. Charged battery. Oh. Okay, we did it. Okay. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we cannot proceed. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. So, she can walk on the rails, but she cannot carry us. It's like against her programming. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now, it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though, there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. That might be Kip. You know, or maybe I don't know. Wait, let's talk to her. Do be careful in here. Dooby dooby doo. Ready to leave? Mm hmm. So we got the battery. Let's go back to the big machine and put it inside it. Alright, I'm back. To this place. Let's hope the charge battery does something. Hmm. Is that it? Wait. No dialogue? Ow. I just got shocked. <laughs> I don't want to get shocked again, son. Okay. So... Oh, the computer. Oh! I'm functional. I can walk. The game did this again. It like kicked me out of like, you know, thing. I see you've made progress in this world, son. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. 
Do you understand what this means, son? Oh no! No. You still don't know the extent of the world's deterioration, do you, son? Ah. <sighs> Most of the time, stray pieces of this world would be lost to blissful nothingness. But this code, this document, is an exception. I was able to salvage it because Nico needs the code to progress. Now go find it. The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place it belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find the document, son? No. Don't you know that there's a des designated- Oh! Some- <laughs> Oh, my documents folder, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. We, f we found a document. <laughs> It was inside my documents folder. Dear blah 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 message to you. I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that. Uh, read it, and you will know what to do. I also I have also let you uh, mask because uh, you are need. Look for a metal safe. Okay. Two three nine three one nine. Let's go. Okay, so it was two three nine three one nine. Oh, it worked. Wait, how did you know the code, son? I still don't remember seeing one. Uh I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. So Nico doesn't know that I have my own computer system. It's like uh, this game is all about a fourth wall. Weird looking book. N not that I can't read or anything because I can. Just don't know what the language this is. Whoa! What is that? <sighs> Gas mask. Strange journal. I want to read it. Unknown language. Okay, so... There was like one... Way to go up to the gas area. Let's, let's try it. It was like here. <laughs> Look at Nico with her gas mask on. I should be fine with this mask on. <laughs> okay. What can we find in this area? Oh, huge factory, of course, and uh, something up here. I see a note and somewhere to go. Okay, let's go back. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. Oh, maybe time flows slower? The few who work directly with gas harvesting looks practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? Mm. So the gas does something chemically or it slows down time hello person welcome to the old chemical processing plant most of the equipment has already been relocated i see something pair of rubber gloves they're a bit heavy designed to prevent chemical damage paper rip Page ripped off out of a book. 
cannot overstate the importance of cleaning soul vents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter. Utilizing the natural properties of Purdue Prosper. Reagents. Acidic gas. Blue phosphor. Rarer form. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Hey, that must be our empty bottle. Uh, seal immediately. So we need more instructions. What? <gasps> Crowbar. Okay, let's go in. Oh, what's this? A bit creepy. Seems to be a page two. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. So, put the gas inside the empty bottle. Without breaking the seal, inject liquid phosphor. Shake to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Oh. Hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. Oh, Nico can't read English? Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. What am I trying to clean? <laughs> okay, well... Empty bottle. I can't reach the top. So we need like a... Somewhere to put gas in. Alright. Let's look for something that we can put gas in maybe. Like a smaller, smaller gas uh, pipe. Okay, so I'm like back almost. Oh, where where am I now? So I came to the left side of this area. Oh my god! Now there's like big robots here. I can't talk. Oh, oh hello. What are you doing here, hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greetings. You was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to the prophet? Prophet bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. <gasps> oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard the settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Tame. Tame. What, it, what would taming mean? Okay, maybe we should do something in this area. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense, no point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to do... Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. 
They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of the surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. What? Oh! We can also visit the rowing bot. Guardian of residential area. So this, this power cell is for the guardian who lost an arm outside. I'm scared of ladders? What? How are you scared of ladders? Anything up here? Not really. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. A uh, what? What? My dormitory? Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least. Not at a significant rate. Time will tell. So some sort of mag magnetic like interference happened and they had to evacuate. <laughs> the terminals don't boot. Checking, checking. Terminal doesn't respond. It's a problem. So this robot really wants me to follow him. Another one of these. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretch until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. <gasps> I wonder where all of that water went. Hmm. There's nothing here. <sighs> oh, what's this place? Is this the dormitory? Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, son. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I never s seen them in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nico, do a robot voice. Oh, I see a robot there. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I'm sit. I'm stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Yes. Infirmary. Have I been here? Oh yeah. My destination building? Um, I don't know where I want to go. Hey sweetie, six more six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll you'll get soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love mom. Looks like. We're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. 
I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Oh, you can look at like all the way to the top. So these are like capsule sleeping pots. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Scan complete. Injuries detected none. <laughs> I'm healthy. Ooh, plastic syringe. So, okay, we put the phosphor inside the syringe, the gas inside the empty bottle, seal it and like do the stuff. So that's why we're here. My dormitory? This this robots keep like telling me like about my dormitory. I I've I've been to this place. Okay. Um maybe this here? It's quite new. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Evacuation? At such short notice? I can't believe this. First, as the, the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. A robot, it's beyond repair. Okay. <gasps> it's a gassy area here. Hold on, before we go. Let's look at, like, down here. Nothing here. Okay, there's nothing to do here. I think we have to go left. As far as I know. We're in the gassy area. Super gassy. Can I go down? Oh, even more of these... Gas area. It's very, um... Mmm, it connects to here. Which is, uh, this robot here. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, son helped me. <laughs> but yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. Ah! Okay, we need... We're, we're preparing the cleaning setup to clean him. The rust, you know, he's too rusty to move his body, so we have to make a cleaning solution. Okay. Let's go find more items. We still have to look for more items to clean this robot. <laughs> Whew, a lot of process. Oh, what's this? Oh! <gasps> It's like that one time years ago when I tried to put tomato chowder in a baby bottle and then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures and then they taught me how to use funnels. And then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. <laughs> anyway, 
We should probably look for a funnel or something. Okay. Well. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Hi, we sushi. We're looking for a funnel. Ugh, oh, too hard to navigate. A funnel. Must. Oh! Hey, wait. This looks good. Oh! We did it? Initially, the amount of noxious fumes. The power went out in your house? Oh no. Uh, emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. So the shrimps are like holding on to the gas, I guess. All right, so bottle of smoke. Uh, we need to get some uh, phosphor shrimp. I think this is the shrimp. So we're filling up the sh sh syringe, son. I guess it's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be th too thick. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. Okay. I think we're ready to clean the robot. So I remember the instructions, it's... So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right son? It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Okay, bottle of acid. Ah. Mix it with sponge. Okay. Wet sponge. Hold still. <laughs> I have no other choice. Alright, we're gonna clean up the robot. There, how's that? I, I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen, port number. My built in navigation circuits have fried. <gasps> I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Oh. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Who is head engineer? You're talking about silver? Head engineer? It's like a quest after quest. How do I go there? I mean... It said she, so I'm assuming it's silver. Uh, you know, the robot with a red head. Now, I hope I can remember where it is. 
It was like on the right side. Somewhere over here. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. Gosh, it's a long walk. Okay, we're here. And like this way? Silver, are you the head engineer? Hope you are. This robot's awake. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mine is further to the east. So yeah, Silver is the head engineer. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me to towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright, what is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Sun and I fixed everything else, I think. Um, I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should be activated. Oh. A cutscene that I have to click something to proceed. That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I keep... I need a keepsake here. So, it's a very precious item for her. That her even her programming says, like, you know... She's a bit, like, sad to give it to us. Music changed. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah, well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Okay, we're gonna play chess with her. Haha, <laughs> you're really good at this. Thank you. I was built into my. It was built into my code. So what's it like? Being a robot and all. I've talked to other robots. And they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? I still don't know what tamed means. Watch out. There goes my bishop. <laughs> Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. <laughs> Look at her face. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. <laughs> Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just a tipping point, and things went south really fast after, after that. Oh, 
then there's nothing I can do. Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But checkmate. <laughs> Alright. Guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Aw, oh, thank you also. Oh, that's kind of sad. She, Silver, she's gonna have to live here forever. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. Silver, no. Okay, bye bye. I mean, maybe she can play chess by herself, against herself. <laughs> Is that okay? Can I fast travel? Can I? Docks. Ooh. Wait. Where is where's the robot? Oh, I thought the robot left. Okay. Hey. Uh oh. This is Amber from the Glen. I I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your positions. Oh well, I don't think I'm needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. <laughs> you just trashed it in the ocean? That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Ah, I love these cutscenes. <laughs> Here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a vi village to the north. But that's all I can recall. Village to the north. Okay, so that sounds okay. That's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. What is taming? It's, it's a it's a mystery. I need to save somewhere now. I need a bed. Oh. What? <gasps> this must be like a lookout point. Oh. Oh. Wait. What's down here? What's this? Ah, nothing. Cause, like, the thing is, I can't really save. <laughs> you right? I need to f look for the bet to save. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, there's something here. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. These are fireflies. Oh. <gasps> Wait. So that's another area. Hmm, nothing spiting. There's like people fishing.
There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. I think we can save here. No? Is this auto saved? Hold on, let me try. Okay, so technically, if you close the game, it saves. To return this world again, you need to relaunch the application. Oh, that's so cool. Proceed, yes. Okay. We'll play until here. Mm, that was that was a good like a uh, good stop.